I should really figure out a setup for this. Welcome everybody, I just finished Child of God by Cormac McCarthy and usually when I do a review I sit on the thoughts for a little while and do the odd notes but I fancied just talking about this one off the top of my head just doing a quick short review for it because it's a very short and a very quick read. Child of God centers around a disenfranchised man who was falsely accused of rape and when he is let out of prison the book just follows him along the road and his actions he is a very depraved individual and he clearly doesn't fit anywhere in this society. This book is set in 1960s Tennessee. The first point I want to get off my chest here is overall I didn't really understand the purpose of this book. I didn't really get what Cormac McCarthy was trying to say in this. I guess with the title of Child of God, I guess Cormac McCarthy is maybe trying to say that even evil people are creations of God or you know maybe we're not so different from these evil people and I think that is the thing that I was thinking about the most while reading this is this person could really be anyone and similar to movies like Joker or Taxi Driver which I've never seen I just know it's similar and even Falling Down I really love that movie this is kind of like that although there's no real build up to this person becoming like this just kind of get straight to the point and I'm not sure it was very clear if he was like this from the start or if being falsely accused of rape led him to be like this and him being somewhat ostracized from everyone around him. I guess that was one of the weaknesses with this book. It's not really a story, you're just following him through scenes and none of the scenes felt connected to me. They all felt very separate and I think that's one of the things with Cormac McCarthy's writing I've found. From the books I've read so far, the plots don't weave very well. I will make a slight exception to that statement with The Road because it is literally just about two characters following a road in a post-apocalyptic world. So each chapter being short was quite well done because it's shown the sort of mundanity of their life and the fact that they just get up, they walk, they eat and go to sleep. And some of the chapters were just that. Uh, that made sense. Some of the chapters in this being really small didn't seem to fit as well for me. Where this book really shines, if you really like your dark fiction and your depravity, is in that exact area. It is deprived. The stuff that this man gets up to is really dark. It is actually disgusting. And this is the thing with Cormac McCarthy that I really enjoy is his prose. Even though he doesn't punctuate his books so they can be hard to follow in that way, he has a very grittiness and bluntness to his writing. Kind of just gets to the point sometimes. I don't really know how to describe this, but he's one of the few writers that's made me feel genuinely nauseous just by the way he's described certain scenes in his books. Reading Blood Meridian, some of the scenes in that genuinely turned my stomach. And reading this, I felt quite hollow. Like I was reading some of the stuff in this and I was just like, Jesus Christ, this is fucked up. And I think that's where Cormac McCarthy shines. Even though he doesn't weave a story that I find genuinely interesting and it doesn't really seem to connect properly for me as a story, he can create some really brutal scenes and imagery that just have enough shock value to make them interesting. This book didn't seem as thematic as some of his other stuff. For instance, The Road, it was very existential. It felt like that book was trying to say something. If this book is trying to say something, I might have missed it. It is that short of a read that I'm going to reread this anyway because I did get through it in just a few days and if I was trying I could probably get through it in just a couple days so I am going to reread it and maybe do a further video on if there is a point to this book because that's the one thing off the top of my head that I struggled with with this book was I didn't understand its purpose and that's just me I'm not saying the book's bad for that and I feel like a book like this needs to have some sort of purpose just because it is so depraved and I'm like why am I reading this I shouldn't be reading this it's dark it's disgusting please give me a point to reading this so that I can justify my sick tastes but yeah they're my overall very quick very spoiler free thoughts give this book a go if you've enjoyed some of Cormac McCarthy's other works I will finish Blood Meridian one day. Cormac McCarthy so far for me is a bit of a mixed bag. He has some weaknesses in his writing but his prose and his shock value is great and I really enjoy that stuff. I just wish there could be a bit of a tighter plot in there. They're not plot heavy these books. They're very much situational and thematic most of the time. I might do an in-depth review when I do read this again. I don't plan to read it anytime soon. I've got too much books to read but I 
do plan on doing a TBR video next as well. So look forward to that. I appreciate you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.